Hi, it's Werner again. In this second part of how to power your IoT device, we will now use a step-up DC-DC converter powered by three parallel alkaline cells. A quick recap of the two previous measurements shows the Blink Arduino powered directly from three AAA alkaline cells in series in the green graph, where the current is gradually dropping as the battery voltage is decreasing. The linear voltage regulator result is shown in the red graph, giving the same current consumption no matter the voltage until we reach the point when it loses regulation at around 3.65 volts. Now it's time to look at how the current consumption looks with the step up or boost regulator. To be able to still use three cells as in the earlier examples we will use them in parallel instead. This way we can discharge them all the way down to the specified cutoff voltage of 0.8 volts and deliver 3.3 volts to the microcontroller the entire time. We can see in the graph here that the boost regulator works up until or down until 700 or 600 millivolts. When using alkaline cells with this particular load, this is how the cell voltage decrease over time until we reach the cutoff voltage of each solution. That is 1.1 volts per cell for the direct connect, giving a total of 3.3 volts, which is the minimum for the Arduino. 1.2 volts per cell for the LDO, giving us the total 3.6 volts minimum when the LDO starts losing regulation and 0.8 volts for the DC-DC, which is the specified cutoff for the battery. The resulting run times are as follows. The direct connect runs for 140 hours, the LDO runs for 166 hours, and the DC-DC runs for 211 hours. Looking at the remaining energy in each cell over time, we can see just how much of the available energy we were able to extract before reaching the cutoff voltage. The LDO solution is the worst with one third of the energy left. The direct connect leaves 15%, but the DCDC only leaves 1%. That's it for today. Stay tuned and subscribe to our channel.